if you don't face your fears, it'll hold you back from the things that you enjoy. Because in a way, those things you enjoy, you kind of fear that they are not going to be as you want them to be. So until you face fears, you cannot even find the things you love in life. If there is no exception in your ideology, you have no pure form. All right. No pure form of ideas. If you don't realize that rules are always broken and a law, if you did not create it yourself, it will be broken. That's with anything, laws of physics, laws of the mind, laws of the body, laws of society. And so you make your own laws, you will be stuck living outside of a system that you are so trying to abide by. You have to be your own creator. You have to create your own way of thinking, your own way of feeling, your own way of acting and reacting, and your own way of living. Even go down to the nitty gritty and create your own way of dying. If you can empower yourself that much in your about your life that you plot even your ending you have no other option but to be able to plot your process and travels within it within this thing called life this dream called life or whatever the dream of life it's not that it's a dream it's just a dream is more real than reality and it feels so real that can only be beyond understanding. No man is wise enough to know wisdom completely because it can't be pieced by one person or one woman. We play games in life thinking we have an upper hand because we're taught that we do based on our ignorance about others meaning the things we don't know about others until you have community you will always be the brainwashed you you are you will always be the program you you are with something is so complex it becomes easy to teach and easy to learn because pieces of complexity is what every individual pretty much is in reality it becomes widespread because it is already the norm it's just not being made conscious of so don't seek to become conscious in behavior just seek to know that you are already conscious and to understand it and be wise enough to point out how, why, when, where and what makes you conscious and that who you are is inevitably inevitably the ultimate truth everyone is just a way we learn from each other. Everyone is a truth. We correct because of each other. And everyone is a light. We see because of what others show us. What they say, what they say, Jesus consciousness or Jesus spirit. What about the people who aren't remembered in history? made the biggest impact because it wasn't focused on them but rather on what they have done 
and what they do. Those are the people most special to, special to you in your life. But still, cherish them. Cherish them. Or should you? Is it better to cherish nothing, not even yourself, to be able to function properly with those who are in community with you? What's the difference between love and appreciation? And what is love in the first place? Is love an idea that there is no exception to its definition? Or is love simply a word with so much meaning that hatred breeds from understanding and learning about it? Is it something that we will never learn in our whole lifetime? But we'll do so much of it because we don't comprehend it. It's what you don't understand that controls what you do. With that being said, first time, first time for everything. Have success in every failure. And every failure will become a triumph.